you think of Elvis Presley, you think of massive arenas, sold out crowds, um, just legions and legions of fans. Well, he didn't always play to huge crowds. In 1955, he's on tour regionally, and he was uh, becoming known, but certainly was not a household name. And here we are in Carlsbad, New Mexico, at the Legion Hall, and he played here on February 12th of 1955. We're gonna go inside and check it out. So here we are at the American Legion in Carlsbad, New Mexico. Elvis played here on February 12th, 1955. We had been earlier just glancing out at the sports arena that Elvis played in February 11th, the day prior to where he played here indoors. So clearly Carlsbad, New Mexico uh, was fond of Elvis for him to have played two back-to-back -back dates in a small community like this. But the American Legion Hall, we might be used to seeing some big arenas that Elvis played, but let's go in here and check out the size of this place. Wow. This is another one of those great places that uh, Elvis played in what would be determined as pre-fame era. Um, 1955, you can imagine all the teenagers that squeezed in here. 100 people, maybe 250 people max. Um, again, small community. But Elvis played a lot of these small towns throughout the uh, Southwest, Texas, New Mexico, and uh, this would be no different, the American Legion Hall. So Elvis was here February 12, 1955. The day before, he actually played in this town as well, out at the sports complex, which is no longer there. It's uh, all new ball diamonds and so forth, but this is the only original uh, facility that Elvis played in, in Carlsbad. He was here on the 12th. On the 13th, he, Scotty, and Bill would have gone back to Lubbock to play at the Fair Park Coliseum. And then they would have deadheaded back here and to Roswell, New Mexico, to play at a high school, which we're going to be going to later on today. So uh, uh, a lot of travel on uh, back roads uh, in a Cadillac, not a tour bus, with Bill uh, Black's base strapped to the top. Uh, just truly early, early pioneer, rock and roll pioneer days. So. Um, this little room <laughs> is not uh, grandiose, but again, it's very indicative of 1955 Elvis performing in unique uh, locations like this, uh, very homespun, down to earth. This dressing, uh, the, well, this little room, uh, which kind of doubles as a closet now, would have possibly been uh, the dressing room for Elvis uh, before he was announced and came out on stage. Uh, Bill Black, Scotty Moore would have been in place uh, to play, and Elvis would have bolted most likely from here. Uh, to front and center to uh, a waiting audience. Notice the original flooring. This flooring would have been here uh, when everybody gathered to see Elvis here, uh, which is very cool. The building still maintains a lot of the original architecture and uh, it's been extremely well maintained uh, by the American Legion. Um, and uh, just cool to think that Elvis uh, bolted out on stage here in 55. So uh, here we are, Carlsbad, New Mexico. So thank you for coming out and joining us uh, here at the American Legion in Carlsbad, New Mexico, where uh, again, Elvis, Scotty and Bill performed on this stage in 1955. If you have any uh, photographs, firsthand accounts, newspaper articles, anything referencing uh, Elvis, Scotty and Bill playing at the sports uh, complex on the 11th of February of 55, or here on February 12th, or even on to uh, Roswell when he played the 14th, and 55 or even a date that maybe your grandmother, mother, uh, family members attended in West Texas. Please contact me direct um, with photographs, newspaper articles, and um, any stories. We'd be happy to share them with you all, the audience, and as well with the American Legion. Thank you. Okay, so here we are in Roswell, New Mexico. I wanna recap a little bit. We were in Carlsbad earlier. And on the 11th, Elvis played at the uh, sports complex that is uh, now gone. It's all new in uh, February 11th, 1955. He went on to play uh, later that evening, uh, supposedly in Hobbs, New Mexico, but there's no record of any location that he played. The 12th, he was in Carlsbad playing at the American Legion Hall that we were just at. And then on the 13th, uh, Scotty, Bill, and Elvis would deadhead back to Lubbock, Texas to play uh, in which Buddy Holly was the opener. 
Then they would deadhead back here to Roswell, New Mexico at the uh, North Junior High School. And the auditorium is right behind me. And uh, unfortunately, due to the world circumstances at the time, the school is closed. We don't have access to the auditorium. What we do know for a fact, Elvis, Scotty, and Bill did two shows here on the 14th, which was Valentine's Day, a Monday, most likely played to a school crowd, and that evening to uh, community people along with the students. So here we are, Roswell, New Mexico.